hello friends welcome to exam tricks the topic of this video is rocks and in this video we will be talking about different types of rocks their modes of formation as well as few examples we all know that the earth's crust is made of rocks what is a rock a rock is an aggregate of one or more minerals and what is mineral mineral is a naturally occurring organic or inorganic substance having an orderly atomic structure and a definite chemical composition and physical properties different kinds of rocks are grouped into three major families depending on their mode of formation these three major rocks are first igneous rocks which is formed um, after the solidification of magma or lava second is sedimentary rocks which is formed uh, due to the deposition of fragments of rock uh, due to uh, due to weathering and then carried on by exogenous processes we will be studying details uh, of how the sedimentary rocks or igneous rocks will be formed later on let us move forward the third rock is the metamorphic rock and evident from its name it is formed out of existing rocks undergoing recrystallization now the most first major form of rock is igneous rock igneous is taken from the latin word ignis which means fire because it is it forms from magma and lava they are called primary rocks when ma magma cools and solidifies igneous rocks is formed this process of solidification and cooling can take place both at the surface of earth crust or beneath it and when magma solidifies at the surface of the earth crust it is called extrusive igneous rock while if it cools and solidifies beneath the crust it is called intrusive igneous rocks in this figure we can see that magma coming out of a vent at the surface of the earth solidifies cools and solidifies and forms extrusive igneous rock while the magma which uh, vent does not vent out from any opening solidifies beneath the earth crust forms intrusive igneous rock in the second image we can see some few examples of igneous rock here we can see the basalt is formed when the magma solidifies at the surface of the earth um, basalt as well as obsidian while granite is the igneous rock which is formed due to the cooling and solidification of magma beneath the earth crust igneous rocks are classified based on the texture and this texture texture depends on size and arrangement of grains or other physical condition such as uh, sudden cooling and great depths determine that the grains will be small or big it will be smooth or rough in this figure you can see various uh, forms of intrusive igneous rocks such as dikes sill batolith laccolith etc you can look at the uh, images and determine yourself that um, when magma comes out from different openings it takes different shapes and solidifies there sometimes when the lava moves upwards a portion of the same may tend to move in a horizontal direction wherever it finds a weak plane and then it may get rested in different forms it in some cases it develop into a saucer shape concave to the sky body it is called lapolith sometimes a wave of mass of intrusive rocks is formed and in the form of pillar like shape we can see in it the image they are called dikes they are almost perpendicular to the ground and it gets cooled in the same position to develop a wall like structure in these uh, dikes are found in western maharashtra area while the horizontal bodies of intrusive igneous rocks are called sill one thing important is here uh, here is that unlike sedimentary rocks igneous rocks do not contain any fossils this is because any fossils in the original rock would have melted when the magma formed now let us come to the sedimentary rocks uh, sedimentary is formed from a latin word called sedimentum which means settling down it is formed from the fragments of rocks sediments transported and deposited by different exoge exogenous agents and which turn into rock through compaction this process is called lithification 
years of deposition layering by layering their compaction then uh, cementation over the year turn them into sedimentary rocks however in this process layers retain their characteristics even after lithification depending on the modes of formation there are three major groups first one mechanically formed sandstone uh, example of these are sandstone conglomerate limestone shale loose etc in this diagram you can see how from different mm, particles different sizes of particle different forms of rocks are formed from clay and mud shale is formed from sand sandstone is formed from sand and pebbles conglomerate is formed from sand and broken rock breccias formed and in this diagram uh, i have represented represented uh, the shale sandstone conglomerate breccia in the in the terms of their increasing size second type of sedimentary rock is organically formed sedimentary rocks these are for example chalk limestone coal etc these rocks formed over the period from the organic material for example we know that coal is formed from the fossil um, remain of the plants chalk is another organic sedimentary rock that is made of microscopic shells when you write with naturally occurring chalk you are crushing and smearing the calcite shell remains of once living ocean organisms another useful organic sedimentary rock is coal coal forms when pieces of dead plants are buried under other sediments in swamps these plant materials are chemically changed by microorganisms the resulting sediments are compacted over millions of years to form coal an important source of energy third type of sedimentary rock is chemically formed examples of these are chert limestone halite potash etc these kinds of rocks are formed by chemical processes and biochemical processes for example carbonate rocks by the secreting shells siliceous rocks form from chemical processes like silica replacing limestone or biochemical processes like silica secreting organisms third is evaporites which form from the evaporation of sea water so these were the three types of sedimentary rocks now let us come to the metamorphic rocks metamorphic means change of formed formed under the action of pressure volume and temperature metamorphism is a process by which already consolidated rocks undergo recrystallization and reorganization within original rocks there are different kinds of metamorphism first dynamic metamorphism it is mechanical disruption and reorganization without any appreciable chemical change which means that there is no such uh, major chemical change in the rock formation but the reorganization without any chemical change another kind of metamorphism is thermal metamorphism where the um, rock is chemically altered and recrystallization takes place there are two types of thermal metamorphism first is contact metamorphism and second is regional metamorphism in the contact metamorphism rocks come in contact with hot intruding magma and lava and the rock materials recrystallizes underneath due to high temperature under high temperature for example uh, granite which uh, we know that which uh, forms under the earth crust after the solidification of magma when it comes under the contact of hot lava it transforms into gneiss same way limestone also metamorphoses into marble second form of uh, thermal metamorphism is regional metamorphism wherein rocks undergo recrystallization due to deformation caused by tectonic shearing together with high pressure or temperature or both in this image you can see that how with increasing temperature different grades of metamorphic rocks are formed from slate to phyllite to sick to nice in the process of metamorphism in some rocks grains or mineral minerals get arranged in layers or lines such an arrangement of minerals or grains in metamorphic rock is called foliation or lineation 
and sometimes minerals or materials of different groups are arranged into alternating thin to thick layers appearing in light and dark shades and such a structure in metamorphic rock is called banding and rocks displaying banding are called banded rocks metamorphic rocks are classified into two major groups foliated rocks and non foliated rocks nisold granite schneid slate schist marble quartzite etc are some example of metamorphic rocks as we can see that metamorphic rock is formed from both igneous rock and sedimentary rock which means that rocks do not remain in their original form for long but may undergo transformation and this um, brings us to the topic rock cycle rock cycle simply can be understood from this image only in this image we can see that igneous rocks are primary rocks as we have uh, read earlier also from their weathering and erosion takes place through uh, by various exogenous and endogenous agents these weathering and erosion form igneous rocks into different fragments sediments these sediments then com uh, undergo compaction and cementation and become sedimentary rocks which can uh, again weather and erode and can again um, and can again become the source of sedimentary rock itself or can they can go back to the source of lava and again form into igneous rocks these sedimentary rocks also undergo uh, metamorphism and uh, due to heat and pressure and become metamorphic rock which and metamorphic rock can again melt and become magma which can again solidify after cooling and become igneous rock in this way the rock cycle goes on and on with this our discussion on uh, rock formation and rock cycle comes to an end i hope you like this video thanks for watching if you want such other videos kindly comment and subscribe to my channel